the person, comes into the world innocent, with little knowledge of the reality cast into, and an individual learns of the world, from the givers of information, such as, governments, movies, music, corporations, and religions. Regrettably, all of them, have the potential to, purposely, or accidentally, communicate inaccurate knowledge, and a person can grow to live a life governed by, an untruthful, value system. The consciousness, can be misinformed, and an individual, can live a lie, without knowing it. But there is a teacher, forever truthful. This giver of knowledge, will never purposely, or, unknowingly, mislead an individual. I forever salute. God's Spirit, the greatest professor. Amid the many religions, a common understanding there is. God is unmanifest, and God, is also spiritually manifest. The great architect, is in all creation, and all creation, is in the great architect. This is, the unmanifest, aspect. Simultaneously, God, is unto the self, outside all creation, and interacts, with God unmanifest. This is, the spiritually manifest, aspect. The idea of God manifest, is in almost all religions, and in the Old Testament, the New Testament, and the Quran, the terms the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, and the Spirit of God, signify, God manifest. The Sikh doctrine, knows God's Spirit, as Satguru. Thoth called the manifest, the great dragon. Sometimes, this notion of God manifest, isn't so easy to identify. And sometimes, the symbols of the dove, and fire, represent, the Holy Spirit. These symbols, can be found in a multitude of religions, including those of the ancient, Greeks, the Romans, the Druids, the Egyptians, the Incas, the Hindu, the Buddhists, and, the Celts, who claim their, Salic laws, were guided by, Satguru. The Celts named the Holy Spirit, Salo Ghost. Although it might appear, as if there are two, God unmanifest, and, the Holy Spirit, there is actually only one. It's difficult to comprehend. A distinction there is. And a distinction there isn't. The potential, to build a relationship, with, God manifest, rests with every person. But God unmanifest, cannot be found, or understood, solely by an individual, and only God's Spirit, can introduce a person, to the Lord. Furthermore, the Holy Spirit, is a teacher, the all-knowing, and always truthful, professor, a lecture conducted by, the Spirit, will reveal, reality's true nature. But, only when the student is ready, will the teacher, appear. To connect with God's Spirit, a person should, meditate, pray, treat all creation as one, sincerely beg the Lord, and function through, the better half, of the mind's duality. In one half of the mind, live such things as, love, truth, compassion, humility, and selflessness. In the other half reside, such things as, lust, anger, pride, greed, and attachment. The human being, is in a constant state of vibration, and the frequency changes, to correlate with a person's thoughts, behavior, and emotions. If a person, dominantly operates through, the better half, of the mind, their constitution, will produce, a resonance, the Holy Spirit favors and their subtle essence, will attract, the spiritually pure, principles.
such a person, is in a state of being, ideal, for a celestial experience. The authority and instruction, of the Holy Spirit, is necessary, to understand the great architect. Without God's Spirit, no person, will truly grasp the wonders, of, the One. If a person, were to forget all religions, and entrust strictly in, the Holy Spirit, they will gain enlightenment. The Holy Spirit, teaches every true mystic. For this reason, religions, have much in common. The source was the same. And the differences are. Earthly assertions. To learn more about, God's Spirit, and many other spiritual secrets. Please read the book, Jesus vs. Jesus. Available through, Amazon.com.